Hi everybody, it's Donna here, occasionally Jaja, and I'm here with a quick project share. So today, um, what I wanted to show you is um, something that I worked on. I had a couple of hours I could get into my craft room, um, so I did. And um, I thought I'd make something quick and easy just to kind of get me back into the groove, the crafting groove. So what I did is I made a postcard. So this is my postcard. It's a very, very light, pale pink. Uh, I think it's a satin, and I just put some lace on there. I made a little cluster here, put a bow, and I have this real pretty image um, of this gal um, that I thought was very pretty. What's different about this is I, I, I put this fabric on a, a cardstock. So what I did is you can see, I think, there we go. I feather stitched all around it to put, that's how I attached the uh, pap paper to the, um, the fabric. And let me just go over here. That trim there has a little bit of gold in it up at the top here. This You might be able to see a little bit of gold there. Anyway, um, but the reason why I did it like this is this, I thought I would like to be able to right on the back of this and pop it in an envelope. So the back you can see is there's all the feather stitching all the way around. Simple feather stitch and it's just a um, a cardboard. Well not quite a cardboard like a card stock. Um, but I thought if, I, you know if I wanted to write a greeting on there or something I could do that and pop it in an envelope. So that is my first share. My second share is I got these things a long time ago at a thrift store and you've probably seen them. I remember seeing these probably back in the, gosh, I'm going to say maybe the 80s, 1980s or so. It could be 70s. I don't even remember, but I think it was the 80s. Anyway, so these are, these are hangers um, for clothing and I'll just show you the one. I got two. They were, they were identical. And I just altered one so far. So this one, I don't know if you can see that, but um, the hanger is on the top. And she's a little beat up, but um, she's kind of cute. She's a ballerina. So, um, but I, you know, I'm not, I don't have a lot of ballet stuff. So I thought, how can I use her and I do have uh, some wedding gowns that I have displayed in my craft room um, of which I'll show you at some point. I'll do a video of the craft room because this is my new craft room um, but anyway so I took this and I turned it into this which is more I thought on the more like a bride kind of sort of anyway I, I wanted to hide these pink frills that she had on the side so I just basically embellished her with nothing but wedding uh, wedding dress appliques I did have a necklace that I got at Claire's um, and I cut it so that it would fit here because on the top of the other one uh, you saw there were beads so I put those there and then I just kind of embellished her up. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. I think it will be pretty if I, you know, put a wedding dress on her and have it. First, I thought it might be a little creepy, but um, <laughs> anyway, I think she'll be okay with the wedding dress. So that's it for today. Those are my shears and my projects that I've worked on. I hope you all had a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.